So I bought me a new three jaw chuck uh, from eBay. Even though it kind of looks used, it's actually new old stock. At least that's what the ad said. And I looked at the uh, jaws. The, the jaws look like they've never been used. Um, if they have, it was very, very light uh, work. Um, so I think it's just been sitting around a long time. It's a, uh, I've never actually heard of this brand, but it's made in England. Ashen Company, made in England. Seems like it's a pretty quality chuck. Um, I got this cheaper than what I could have got a, a new Chinese chuck for. And as much as I'd love to have a bison or a buck chuck, you know, I'm a hobbyist. This I don't do this for a living. It's hard for me to justify $800 on a bison chuck. So if I can find a decent deal, uh, you know, on a, even a used good chuck, that's the route I'm probably going to go. Um, but I don't know. Once I get this mounted up, if it doesn't seem to be, uh, you know, very good, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll consider something else. But my lathe is a D15 uh, Camlock spindle. Um, for those of you that's not familiar with that, that's what it looks like. It's got six studs. It registers on this taper. This is actually a tapered um, little stud sticking out. It sticks out about half an inch. And uh, it's you know, considered a quick change. You, you, you just loosen these uh, cam locks off and whack it with a hammer. It loosens it up. You pull the chuck off. You put a, you know whatever other kind of chuck or adapter that you need to put on there. And uh, you're good to go. So, because of that, I had to buy a backing plate. Now this backing plate, it's not cast iron, it's actually steel. I'm not sure the grade of steel it is. The uh, company that sells these um, didn't put in the ad uh, what kind of steel it is. But regardless, I think it's you know going to be better than, uh, than most of the Chinese stuff that you get out there. That's what the front of it looks like. So what we're going to do is mount it up in the lathe. Um, we'll get it snugged up. Do a light skim pass on the face of it. I'm going to have to drill the, the center out here. They call this a semi-machined. You can get these from that same company that's fully machined and ready to go. But they're... Uh, last time I looked, I think they were almost $100 more. Well, I can drill the center of this out, and that's pretty much, you know, and take the diameter down to what I need it to. And uh, that's pretty much all, all that needs to be done. Um, but for the price that I paid for this, it was about the same price as what I could have got, uh, just a cheap Chinese cast iron uh, backing plate off of Shars for. So I thought, you know, this is an American company that machines these. Uh, I always like to buy American when I can, so that's the route I went. The company, I bought this off eBay, but they also have a website. The name of the company is Small Tools Incorporated. They're out of Ohio, and uh, what I, I'll tell you what I paid for this. Um, well, I thought it was on this receipt, but it's not. If I remember right... I paid, I think it was 120, maybe 125 for this. That was shipped to my house. Came with the studs. Um, they're in there loose, so whenever you get it, you uh, put these. You know, you go ahead and screw these in, and, and put your Allen's in here, and get it adjusted out to where it'll mount up to your spindle. Okay. And uh, other than that, I mean, I'm, so far I'm I'm super happy with the uh, with the quality of workmanship on this backing plate. So I can't wait to get this thing mounted up, get my new 8-inch eight, eight chuck mounted to it, and uh, see how, you know, how much nicer that's going to be. So let me get this thing mounted up uh, on the spindle, and uh, we'll press on. Okay, so we're all set up. Um, I'm just going to take a light skim pass. I want to keep as much thickness as I can. That way I can, uh, if I ever need to swap chuck, uh, chucks. I can take this one off, put another one on, and still have plenty of uh, material to, to machine off. 
<clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and take a skim cut. We'll go ahead and drill the, the center out. Um, I'm only going to drill the center two and a quarter inches because that's how big the uh, hole is on the chuck. No point in going any bigger than I need to. Uh, if the chuck can only accept two and a quarter inches, then I could drill this out to three inches, but it's not really going to serve me any purpose, I don't think. So, looks like this is probably set up. Okay, so let's go ahead and press on. That is probably one of the most beautiful finishes I've ever seen. I'm not going to go all the way because I'm going to drill this out so there's no point in going all the way to the center. In fact, there was actually no real point going much past probably about here to the center because the way the chuck is, it's going to register. I'm going to have to turn about 175 thousandths here uh, so there's a shoulder for it to register on. So, but I figured I'd go ahead and go at least the majority of the way. Now we're going to see how true it is. I know you can't see that. I'll, show, I'll bring you around. <clears throat> okay, so there's the indicator. Let me uh, come back off and see if it'll focus. Okay. Come on, camera. Don't guess it gets much better than that. So Basically now what I'm going to have to do is turn a little shoulder right here. This is where it's going to register around this edge. I've got to measure this the best I can. I don't really have really, I mean the only thing, the best thing I've got to measure it with are these digital calipers. So we'll do that. I'll, I'll get it as close as I can until it just fits on there and uh, then I'll the way I'm going to, I'll show you how I'm going to pick these three holes. There's three mounting holes. So I've got to find the, uh, the radius from the center of the chuck to the mounting hole. And uh, I'll show you how I'm going to do that and how I'm going to drill those three holes. So let me get the camera set back up and we'll, we'll board the center out. All right, so we're getting ready to bore it. I'm going to drill the hole. Uh, I don't know, whatever drill bit I picked up is about a quarter inch it looks like. 
I'm not going to worry about center drilling it because obviously I'm going to bore it. So once you bore it, it's going to be on center. Um, so let's press on. Put it in gear. Helps a little. I think I'll just take a skim cut just to make that a little nicer. We're going to bump the speed up a little bit. So we're ready to uh, start machining the register. Um, it's exactly six inches on the chuck. So I'm gonna rough it out to slightly above that and then we'll slowly just come in each and every time, taking just a minimal amount off until we hit the exact mark. And uh, hopefully that, ho hopefully we hit it and uh, get a nice fit on there. Uh, I gotta change the battery out in the camera, so I'll be right back. All right, here we go. Uh, let me get set up here. Let's see. Okay, just finished the uh, the last pass. Uh, outboard, inboard. Uh, we should be about 25 thousandths from where we need to be diameter wise but it's kind of warm so I'm going to take a break let this cool down we'll measure make sure this is true um, if the run out is true we'll leave it the way it is we'll just finish off the uh, the diameter here on the shoulder and then we'll test fit the uh, chuck to it if there is run out I'll take a real light skim pass while it's cold and uh, hopefully that'll uh, get us good to go on the uh, run out. All right, I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, I've checked the run out again. It's cooled off. Um, the run out's good. So we're going to finish this diameter right here. We're about 20 thousandths from, uh, from being where we need to be. So let's go ahead and fire this thing up. Let's see.
should have been 10. <clears throat> okay, yep. Showing about 11 thousandths to come off. Should be pretty darn close. Okay, sort of about one and a half thousandths over. Let's see if we can get the chuck to fit on it. We'll do a test fit. Let me uh, let me go ahead and taper that. Make sure there's not a burr. I don't want a burr right there and then think that it's not fitting, but it really is. Okay, not quite yet. about one more thousand. Okay, that should fit according to my measurements, and it does. All right. Okay, so now what I'm going to do I'm going to recheck the run out, make sure I'm happy with that. And then we're going to transfer it over here. We're going to find the uh, radius and we're going to drill these holes for the uh, mounting bolts. So let me get this thing all. Oh, one other thing that, that you want to know is it's a good idea once you, uh, hold on. Once you mount one of these, now I've checked my spindle and it's within a couple tenths of a thousand all the way around so it's you know it's pretty true but it's still a good idea whenever you mount a, D, a, a cam lock uh, chuck or backing plate or anything you want to mount it in the same position over time so since I've got this mounted up in this position and I've turned this true every time I put this on I want to make sure that that I've got this mark lined up. So all my chucks that go on here, I, I, I line them up, uh, I find where they run the truest, and then I make sure that I put them back on this spot. So every time I put this on, it'll be going back into this spot. Um, but right now we're going to take this off, transfer it over to the mill, and uh, pick up these three holes that we need. Be back when that's ready. 
Okay, got the truck mounted here in the vise on the mill. Um, got center, and all it did with the center was uh, use the uh, coaxial indicator. Hold on just a minute. can see that so <clears throat> now I'm going to find the radius on the chuck I'll show you how I'm going to do that then we'll use the uh, DRO to uh, go ahead and drill our holes I'll be back okay so basically what I did is I took a drill bit long drill bit um, this drill bit, the, the shaft measures uh, 309 thousandths, the bolt measures 371 thousandths, I added those together, um, then I divided by half, they gave me 340 thousandths. Then I measured across, hold on, across both these. Which was 371 thousandths, or three inches, 714 thousandths. And then I subtracted the 340 thousandths, which leaves me a 3.37. Three inches, three hundred seventy thousandths. Now I don't always trust my math, so what I like to do is put. So what I say, three, uh, three hundred seventy. Close enough. Lock it down, and I like to just go to the center and, and make sure that it looks like that it's center to center. And as long as your math is close, then that should be, uh, you know, that sh you should be able to eyeball that and make it, make a determination if your math was right. If your math is off, hopefully it's off enough to where obviously you're, you know, you're, you're way off, you know, to the side here, or to the inboard side, and you know that, you know, you know that something's not right. But after doing the math, uh, that looks like that's center to center which is what I need to be able to to uh, drill these three holes. I'm gonna go put another battery in this camera and then we're gonna finish this. Be right back. Okay, so I got my no notes here. 3.37 is the radius. Um, here's the DRO. Let me kind of show you how this works. We'll go over here to, uh, I think it's under features, circle pattern. We're going to do a full circle. We're going to do three holes. We're going to go off of the center. The radius is 3.370. Okay. Now the start angle is the angle that, that you want to start at. It can be any of the 360 degrees. Um, I'll probably just drill my first hole here. That's what I'm thinking. Then the other hole will be roughly here and here. So let's see here. And start angle, I think zero puts it straight off to the uh, to the left or to the right, straight across, which is what I want. depth we're not going to worry about so we're going to hit enter gives you your first coordinate so we're going to just simply go across till that's zero okay 
Well, too far. Okay. Come down. That right there is going to be our first hole. So let me get the camera set up here. Let me swap out bits and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go to the next coordinate. So I'm just going to hit next. Get that out of the way. to go ahead and lock the table and how's the camera angle I guess the camera's good
Next hole. draw the three holes to three eighths and then I'll come back whenever we uh, do the counter bore okay so we got the uh, cap screws here the head right here is three eighths of an inch uh, deep and I want these to sit pretty much just flush so I'm gonna counter bore each hole I got all three holes drilled to three eighths um, so now the, the bolts go in. I'm gonna counter bore these till the heads uh, fit down, uh, just flush with the surface there. Should be about three eighths of an inch. I've already, I've, still, I've got the first hole lined up here. We'll do it first. Should have done it. Yeah, perfect. All right, next hole. There's the uh, countersunk holes. Machine surface. So all we gotta do is bolt it on. I've only got two cap screws right now. I've got to run up to the store and get it. I'm going to actually get, these are a little longer than what I need, so I'm going to get three. Uh, that's the perfect length. And then uh, we'll get it bolted up and I'll put it, next time I turn the camera on, it's going to be mounted on the machine and we'll check the uh, uh, indicated run out and everything, see how it looks. Alright, so let's see how it turned out. Um, this is a piece of titanium that I've turned down to make sure that it's true uh, in circumference. Just got a little test indicator set up here. 
Got it zeroed out. Here. Re zero it. Hold on just a second. Let me clean the lens of this camera. Hopefully that'll focus. But we're pretty much on zero. And from what I'm, whoops, from what I'm seeing, we're probably a little less than. Uh, we'll just call it half a thousandth out. That's half a thou right there. And that's the most that it moves. And I was wanting what I was shooting for was less than a thousandth. So half a thou, I'm I'm really happy. <coughs> Go ahead and move it all the way out here, just to see. Still showing about a thou. There's our half a thou. We're about four inches out. Still showing a max of about half a thou. Um, so the only thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and turn this down. That way it's the same diameter as the chuck. And call it, call it done. Alright, finished product. <clears throat> turn it down, I didn't turn it down all the way to the diameter because even though this is an 8 inch chuck, um, it's about a little over seven and a half inches in diameter and other eight inch chucks are a little bit more they're not quite eight inches in diameter but they're like eight and three quarter I mean seven and three quarter so if I ever want to mount another chuck to this backing plate I want to leave enough diameter to where another chuck you know will come just right to the to the uh, closer to the actual diameter of this backing plate so that's the reason I did that. But I've got it turned down, I got it beveled, and uh, like we saw earlier, about a half a thou of uh, run out. So all in all, it turned out good. Um, I'm happy that this appears to be a decent, a decent chuck. At least it's uh, made in England and not China. So hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll serve me well. That's all I got.